Laura Berkowitz, and this is Real Personal. We're talking about vacation sex, Laura says. She saw a lot of it when she was on staff at several club meds. Max sees vacations as a great time to have intimate relationships. And Stewart says that when he was a waiter aboard the QE2, he saw a lot of passengers cruising with the crew. All right, Max, it's your turn. Uh, how easy is sex for you on vacation? Um, I mean, not to sound uh, stuck up or anything, but uh, I guess it's, I mean... Sex itself, uh, nowadays with AIDS and all, isn't as easy as it used to be when I was uh, younger in high school and all, but sexual relationships with women are fairly easy. Do you feel less inhibited when you're on vacation as opposed to when you're home with your regular friends and family and neighbors? I don't personally, because uh, I don't... You're pretty I'm, uninhibited all the time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nice? I pretty much don't restrict myself at all. I mean, I'm pretty much myself no matter where I am. Mm. But I, I, I do find people, I, especially women, being much, much less... In, uh, inhibited. inhibited because uh, I don't know I, I've always found that that when when someone is goes out to have sex they try to avoid three things basically pregnancy a disease and a bad reputation and when you're home you could avoid that by practicing safe sex but you can't you could avoid two but not you, you can't avoid a bad reputation but when you're on vacation if you practice safe sex you could avoid all three are the women more sexually aggressive you think in, in vacation areas as opposed to when you're home yes yes how oh, so give me some examples um, well, uh, for instance, one New Year's party that I went to uh, very recently in South Beach, um, uh, so two women... the hip section of Miami, Miami yes, Beach area. Yes, right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I went to a party and uh, I just walked in and, you know, women were just grabbing me. I mean, they were just grabbing me and pulling me aside. And, and one woman, for example, grabbed me and I, uh, I guess she was a bisexual and she, she asked me to, to kiss her, her girlfriend. And, you know, I was, I was a little uh, intoxicated and, and, and I am a man. So, of course, I, I said yes. And I, and I did. And then uh, she jumped in the middle. And uh, before you knew it, we were outside in the rain, uh, rolling around in the mud, uh, <laughs> just doing whatever came, came natural. It was, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Do you anticipate having sex when you go on vacation? Is, uh, is this like a goal of yours when you're gonna it's get not, on a plane? It's it's not a criteria, but uh, I mean, I mean, of course, I think about it. Yes, definitely. I mean, sex is fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, as long as you practice safe sex and you know, and and you have some standards, which you know, which I pride myself on. Uh, you usually, you, you know, I usually do go out and you know, okay. hope to end it. On that note, we'll take a break. I'm Bob Burke. What's your watch? Your real personal here on CNBC. Stay with us. If you have a personal story or an idea for a show that you'd like to share with us, drop us a line. Real Personal, CNBC, 2200 Fletcher Avenue, Fort Lee, New Jersey, 0... Paul from Texas, you're next to Real Personal. Hello, Paul. Uh, hi, hi, how are you? Good was, uh, what I've experienced, I've been on so many party cruises here, and I go at least once a year, I've experienced a lot of married women, and that's where I usually run into most of my sexual relationships on these cruises with, are with married women. Huh. What's your experience with that, married women on those cruises? I wouldn't say, in my personal experience, I've not really had too many with, the, uh, with married women, but I know that it does happen. I know that a lot of the party cruises out of New York, that cruise basically is for partying and it's there's a lot of sex that goes on on those ships. I yeah. once got on the on a uh, ship out of New York. I went to the cabin, put my bags in, walked out of the cabin. The ship hadn't even left port, mm. and there's a naked man walking down the corridor with a woman in, in each <laughs> arm. And I was like, "Oh my god!" But it was hey, everyone goes on. They had, they had a good time. Great. That's fine. I lost my virginity actually to a woman who was on a cruise with her friends from California. Uh, she was older. She was in her late twenties, and uh, she was getting married. And she went out on a cruise with her friends, uh, sort of like a goodbye cruise, you know, to the singles life. And uh, and I met her on the disco the last night, and she knew how old I was, and she told me, and and she said she wanted to give me a good, a good night kiss. And I said, well, let's go outside to the deck. And we went outside to the deck, and she when I went out there with her, she said, I'll do anything to you. And I guess that's where I said I might as well lose my virginity. <laughs> and then later on, she told me she was getting married, and she wanted me to visit her in California. And she was getting. She was engaged. She was. In, she was getting married in like a month and she went on a cruise with her friends to sort of you know say goodbye to her singles life and stuff so yeah there's, there's definitely a lot of sex on you cruises were her I've farewell had, to singlehood yeah, <laughs> i've had i've had rug burns don't do it on the deck unless you have a towel that's uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what you have to do is like get on the ropes and lay a towel over the rope and it's perfect well, get <laughs> off the wood but Stuart, you work on, you work on the cruises you have all these inside yeah information perfect. take them onto the crew areas of the decks lay the towel down perfect there are all kinds of things you learn here in real person i find that I, I find that when women go on vacation 
it's not uh, see because some people feel that that women change their their character when they go on vacation I don't think they change their character I think women and men in general are just more themselves and more the way they'd want to be back home but are but you know are inhibited because of the stigmas of society so I, th I feel that when they go on vacation I think they're more like themselves because I'm, I've met many women that I've haven't had sex with and because because they refuse to and that's just because that's the way they are so I think I think that's what proves that's what's proved to me many times that women don't change their character I think they're just more themselves when they go on vacation uh, we got about 30 seconds Max before we have to take a break do you anticipate having sex when you go on vacation is, uh, is this like a goal of yours when you're gonna it's not a plane. It's it's not a criteria, but uh, I mean, I mean, of course, I think about it. Yes, definitely. I mean, sex is fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, as long as you practice safe sex and you know, and and you have some standards, which you know, which I pride myself on. Uh, you usually, you, you know, I usually do go out and you know, okay. hope to end it. On that note, we'll take a break. I'm Bob Burke. What's your watch? A real personal here on CNBC. Stay with us. If you have a personal story or an idea for a show that you'd like to share with us, drop us a line. Real Personal, CNBC, 2200 Fletcher Avenue, Fort Lee, New Jersey, 0... drunk and they're very uninhibited and they're, they're very spontaneous with their sexuality because it's so open. I, I wonder how much safe sex is being practiced. If you're uh, drunk, you're not thinking about using a rock. Actually, it was, there was a lot more, it was a lot safer than you would think it is. My friends, the guys that I knew, I mean, they would get drunk, they'd meet a girl, five minutes later they'd be back in the room, and I don't know of very few cases where they didn't use anything. Because they thought about it, it's so pumped into I've, your mind. I find that women more often are carrying their own condoms also. Because I've been with, with, with many women where, you know, I haven't, you know, I'd go out on vacation and I, I don't go out expecting to have sex. So a lot of times I don't carry a condom and, you know, you meet someone and then... Such a liar. You know, <laughs> it's, you know, it's <laughs> such a liar. And then I'd a get, typical guy. I'd, now it, I'd get to that point and then the woman would be like, oh, no, don't worry, I have my own condoms. And, it's you know, part it's, of life now. Everyone yeah, knows, yeah. so it's, it's good. Larry from Pennsylvania, <laughs> hi. Hello. Go ahead, Larry. Hi. Well, I've been on uh, many cruises. I enjoy them very much, but I find that oftentimes the uh, travel agent or representative for the cruise line does concentrate on uh, selling you on the idea of the liberal sex. <laughs> uh, the ability to be promiscuous on vacation. Personally, I don't know that that's very beneficial because for the price you're paying for a vacation, you should enjoy it if that's what you're looking for. In most areas, you could probably acquire... We have about 20 seconds left, I, I don't left, think Stuart, that, you ahead. know, as far as saying that, I don't think travel agents really push the facts as far as liberal sex is concerned on any cruise ship because it would be the wrong thing to do. Most of them push the ports of call, not the sex side. Unless it's the per they know the person they're talking to and that person asks you specifically. You, sir, have the last word. Laura, Stuart, Max, thanks very much. Guys, you're terrific. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. That's Real Personal with tonight. Tomorrow, Alexandra Penny, the author of How to Make Love to a Man Safely. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Berkowitz. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. To order a home videotape of tonight's Real Personal, call 1-800-462-CNBC. Here's an opportunity to receive a free copy of National Review's